how to shut off and turn on a circuit breaker. Here's what you need. A circuit breaker box and an electric household appliance. Here are some examples. A microwave, a coffee maker, an air fryer, a toaster oven, or a refrigerator. Let's get started. Step one, notice that your appliance is not turning on. Here is a video demonstration. Step two, check to see whether it is plugged into the outlet. Here is a video demonstration. Step three, confirm that the electricity in other parts of your home is still working. Here is a video demonstration. Step four, unplug the appliance. Here is a video demonstration. Step five, find the circuit breaker box. Here is a video demonstration. Step six, open the circuit breaker box. Here is a video demonstration. Step seven, read the labels of each switch and find the one for where the appliance is. Here is a video demonstration. Fridge, dining room plugs, dining room lights, third floor, bath, ground floor, dishwasher, deck lights, kitchen lights, kitchen plugs, kitchen plugs on the island. That's the one we have. Step eight. Turn off that switch by pointing it in the opposite direction of other switches. It may already have been turned off. Here is a video demonstration. Step nine, turn that switch back on by pointing it in the same direction as other switches. Here is a video demonstration. Step 10, close the circuit breaker box. Here is a video demonstration. Step 11, plug the appliance back in. Be prepared, it might beep. Here is a video demonstration. Step 12, see if it is working. If not, repeat these steps, but try a different switch in the circuit breaker box. Here is a video demonstration. Let's put it all together.
fridge, dining room plugs, dining room lights, third floor, bath, ground floor, dishwasher, deck lights, kitchen lights, kitchen plugs, kitchen plugs on the island. That's the one we have. 